So, me being from Texas, I decided to do a video with someone who has lived in Georgia for most of their life. Um, can you tell me, this is my roommate Brandon by the way, um, can you tell me a little bit about your life growing up in Georgia and the different things that you faced? Because I know it was a lot different from Texas. We were really physical education based. And even though we had great academics, it wasn't really the same as it was to the amount of money that been in physical education. What was it like for you in your school? Well, um, pretty much, you know, I guess it's the average of any other school, but just for the simple fact that, you know, you can tell like when budget cuts are coming. Mm -hmm. you know, How so, do you think? You can tell because one day you might have a certain class or a certain, you know, activity that you guys used to do. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the next day it's gone. And the reason why it's gone is because of budget cuts. It's not good. Um, what about the different clothing style and stuff that they had there? I know in Texas, I would say, I mean, our demographic, it just kind of overall feeling was that there were actually a lot of preppy kids uh, yeah. because they were really, they were born into that type of thing where they were given these nice cars, they were given these amazing clothes, these iPhones and everything else that was coming out at the time and everything was handed to them. Like, what was it like for you living here? Well, like here, you know, nothing's handed to you. You know, if you want it, you got to go get it for yourself. You know, it's not none of that, you know, spoiled kid type, you know, demographic going on here. Absolutely, you know? yeah. It's, you know, go make it happen. Mm -hmm. Do you have any, like, personal stories about that, you think? Uh, I mean, there's people that had it harder than me, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, in the case, you know, if my mom always said if I always wanted something, you know, you got to go get it. We're not just going to hand it to you. So, you know, I went out and got a job, you know, at the age of 14, 15, you know, whenever that legal age is. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I've just been working ever since, you know. Trying to get whatever that you know that I would want. You know? What about the social structure? Would you say? Uh, basically, when I was in Texas, we had a lot of, Afri I mean, a lot of just no, I mean, I like white kids. All right, I'll be blunt with that. Yeah. Uh, we've had well, maybe only about when I was in my senior year, we probably only had ten students that were African American, and a good amount of Latino, considering this Texas and whatnot. But what was the uh, student kind of? What was the boiling pot, did you say, or melting pot? Well, I'm, well I've am well, i been through two different schools, you know, mm -hmm. through, just, let's just say, my high school, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, situations, tough times, stuff like that. Uh, well, the first high school I was at, um, currently in Riverdale, Georgia, mm -hmm. um, I can say the, the melting pot there was specifically... I want to say a rough estimate, about three-fourths of the, you know, kids, the peers that were there were mm -hmm. African-American. Then you had the other 25% were made up of mainly Latino or Hispanic, you know, race or either Hispanic or, you know, something else or Asian. You know, we didn't have really, you know, a bunch of, you know, Caucasian people at that school, mm -hmm. you know, dealing, you know, for where it's located. Yes. Now, the second school that I went to, you know, I moved up uh, south of Atlanta, went mm -hmm. to south of Atlanta, and, you know, you see a whole different cultural change. Like, right? you will see mainly the Caucasians, you know, with the nice school, over 3,000 kids, nice car, everybody has a nice car, everybody has nice things, everybody knows everybody. You know, and moving to that school, I noticed that it was a good amount, it was very diverse at mm -hmm. that school. About half of it was white, but the other half were made up of all the other races, yeah. so it was very diverse. And with that, do you think came, uh, I guess you could say, different social plans, you think? Yes, yes, definitely. Uh, I can say for a perspective, you know, just upon me entering that school, I can tell that, you know, you had your social, I don't want to say, you know, I'm not trying to be racist or anything, mm -hmm. but you definitely had, you know, your social class or yes. cliques. Oh, yeah. You know, and... Um, that's just how it was. Yeah, same with Texas. Honestly, we had different... I guess you could say, I mean, we ranged everywhere. We had people who played a lot of computer games. We had the... I mean, just the basic kind of social clans. And then the last thing I'll ask you, I guess, what was your favorite moment 
throughout your educational years? Did you ever have a teacher that stood out or a whole entire group of classes that stood out? Like maybe for me, it definitely was language arts. For some reason, we always had an amazing language arts department at our school. Even though I really majored and focused in on science and mathematics, for some reason, the language arts always stood out. What about for you? Do you think well, so? Well, I just said throughout my education years, you know, uh, language, you know, the literacy uh, department was, you know, it was a big focus. Mm -hmm. You know, me, I wasn't a big literature fan. I hate literature. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I can honestly say that, you know, our big department was math and science. Mm -hmm. Just for the simple fact that, you know, you know, you're going to need that throughout life. You know, you deal with numbers and, you know, science and stuff like that every single day. So, you know, that was pushed harder mm -hmm. than literature. Yeah. No, that makes clear sense. Well, I'd like to thank you for this interview and helping out my class. Hopefully my class got a different view on both Texas and Georgia. Thank you so much. Peace.